Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we'd like to share with you four exercises to strengthen the hand, but we're not talking about developing a death grip in your hand. You know, that's not really something we are aiming for when we play the guitar. As a matter of fact, the guitar is an instrument that is played very relaxed, or at least it should. Same goes for bass. You always run the risk of making things worse. You know, if you are really focusing on strength in the forearm and hand, you might actually end up causing the problems we're trying to avoid. So when I talk about strength, I talk about a general conditioning of the hand, because after all, you're always playing in this kind of motion. So there are parts of the hand that we're not developing. There are parts of the hand that are kind of left behind in favor of the usual movement we make. So today I will show you four exercises that can help you kind of even things out. You can look at it as with any sport. For example, if you're a football player, you're not only going to move your leg as you would when you're kicking the ball. I'm talking about soccer, by the way, for all my American friends. These players always train all parts of their core and of course uh, their legs. So that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to give uh, overall conditioning to the hand. So with that in mind, even though we are talking about grip and strength training, we're actually going to keep things fairly light. One more thing before we continue, I'm not a doctor or a physiotherapist, nor I claim to be one. I'm just a guy who's been playing for many, many years and often for exceedingly long hours every day and have managed through the years to avoid any injury or pain or discomfort in my fingers, tendons, hands, wrists. I might just be lucky. I might just be an anecdote. And I certainly don't claim any of this will prevent anything or even less cure you of any ailments you might have. If you do need a specialist, then go and see one. And finally, make sure you use these exercises in tandem with my previous video on general mobility with a few exercises for the hands and fingers, and you'll see that above. Our first exercise is quite well known, actually, and quite common. It was shown to me by a hand specialist years ago. And again, I'm not claiming anything by that, but it's very simple. It goes like this. We're gonna practice our pinching strength between each finger and the thumb. So we take the hand and touch the first finger to the thumb and then press down as hard as we can for 10 or 15 seconds. By as hard as we can, I still mean a reasonable level of comfort, but you should certainly feel the pinch, right? Then we move up to our ring finger against the thumb and then the ring finger and then the little finger. I do this throughout the day, but if you do it in one session, I will go maybe for two or three times 10 to 15 seconds each finger. Now make sure you also practice this, of course, with your left hand. And this is our first step in kind of equalizing the hand to kind of counteract our usual movement on the guitar. For exercise number two, we're going to use this little device or any similar thing. Some people use a tennis ball, others use one of those squishy balls or maybe a good old grip clamp. It doesn't matter what it is, you can use this. As long as it's fairly light, we're not going again for the death grip. We're just trying to balance our hand. And so all we're gonna do is the good old grip like this. We rest it on the palm and with all four fingers perform the squeeze like this. Now, here's a bit of advice. Carpal tunnel is right here. So try not to put your device too close to the edge of the wrist. It's safer if you put it towards the palm a little bit more and then we don't run the risk of overstimulating or causing any issues with our carpal tunnel. And again, do it with both sides. If one side is worse or weaker than the other, we don't worry about that. We just perform our exercise again. How often? Well, I do it maybe throughout the day a few times, but maybe go again for a couple of sets of 10 to 15 repetitions. For exercise number three, we're still gonna use this little device here, but now we're going to place the tip of our fingers and of our thumb along its perimeter and we're gonna squeeze like this. Now, this is a lot harder, so if I can't squeeze it all the way, I don't mind. I'm just gonna give it a little squeeze like this. You'll notice a totally different part of the hand working. Try to focus on each finger. Again, we don't wanna work only the strong ones, but the whole hand, and just go like this. Again, for a few repetitions, you'll figure it out in no time. And for our final exercise, we're gonna focus on an often forgotten part of the hand, which is the back. We're always worried about, are we strong enough to finger this chord or fast enough to play this scale? And we forget the huge part that the extensors in the back of the hand play to our hand's health. And so to do that, we can use our other hand as resistance, or if you're lucky enough to have a daughter who makes these, 
she actually makes in different tensions for me, I might add. Or you can use a, a rubber band or anything else that's lying around your house. This is the simple exercise we're going to do. We're going to take the hand like this, straight fingers. You can pinch it here if you want to add a bit of tension. And simply open and close the hand like that. You certainly notice the back of the hand working. And it will actually feel great because even if you don't play guitar too much, everything we do in our daily life is towards the inside, right? We grab things, we cook, we write, we type, and it's always that way. And now we're going to give it a little break and it will feel great. If I need a bit more tension, I can use this. Again, open and close. This feels really good, right? If you don't have a rubber band, just put your other hand on top and offer a little bit of resistance. Okay, you'll get used to this in no time and this works as well. I really hope this helps you. If you'd like to join me on Patreon, there's links below. If you'd like to check out my books for Guitar Technique, I think you could do a lot worse than those. And I want to thank you again for being here and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.